So Republicans for years have accused the Democrats of having some kind of immigration plot. The idea that you are going to import hundreds of thousands of immigrants, if not millions, and they will become your voters. And the reason we accuse you of this, say the Republicans, is because you just keep saying it. <laughs> so it's a pretty out there idea that... But it can't be true if they keep on saying it. I mean, surely I, not. My political enemy is claiming X, therefore I think they are claiming X. No, that's uh, disinformation. Unironically, political fact have stepped in to tell you. Don't worry, guys. Complete disinformation. <laughs> We have an example here from Donald Trump, of course. Oh, dear. Trump, a notorious source of disinformation when he quotes his enemies. I love that. Mostly false, trust me. Stacey Abrams wants to give illegal aliens the right to vote, is the quote they pull out from Donald Trump. What did Stacey Abrams say? Quote, The blue wave is African-American. It's white, it's Latino, it's Asian, Pacific Islander. It's disabled. It is differently abled. Which is a weird way to <laughs> insert political correctness into your own speech. It is LGBTQ. It is law enforcement. It is veterans. It is made up of those who are told they are not worthy of being here. It is comprom It was comprised of those who are documented and undocumented. That's like the the speech from uh, the death of Stalin, where Stalin's son just lists off you, all of and you <laughs> just lists off a long list of everyone. We are children of Stalin, including you. And you, and you, and you, and you. <laughs> it's, it's dumb, but she does say in there that the blue wave, the votes of Democrats that are going up, is comprised of those who are documented and undocumented. So illegal aliens make up the blue wave. So Politico write, Abrams didn't actually say she wanted undocumented immigrants to cast ballots for her, which would have been illegal. <laughs> That's so, being a little bit generous isn't it how generous do you need to be she's standing there saying the wave of new blue votes they're electing me and others is from documented and undocumented so from citizens and illegal aliens trump says she wants illegal aliens to vote and you're like whoa, whoa, whoa. she didn't say she wants them to vote she's just saying that they are and that's a good thing <laughs> I, it's, it's, <laughs> it's um yeah it's 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 pretty obvious to say the least that this uh has been something that the democrats have endlessly campaigned on, we are doing X, and the Republicans and others throughout the Anglosphere have pointed out, hey, the left-wingers, they're doing this thing, they keep saying they're doing it. I mean, it's all the way back to Obama, he wanted to have a, a moratorium on illegal immigrants, didn't he? So The Rainbow Coalition. Yeah, well, evidence uh, enough, surely. And if we go to the next link, we can see just the, the physical data, which um, shows that Donald Trump did fight against this, regardless of your thoughts on him, he didn't achieve one goal here. There's actually a writing, because I'm just going to Wikipedia just because it's the most meddled with source. So even they can't hide it. The total immigrant population has stalled in recent years, especially since the election of Donald Trump and the COVID-19 pandemic. Census estimates shows that 45.3 million foreign residents uh, were in the United States in March 2018, and 45.4 million in September 2021. So it only went up by 100,000. The lowest three-year uh, three increase in decades, they write whoever edited the Wikipedia article. It's certainly not that way anymore, is it? No. But we also can just look at the data. There is a, a just a data chart, I don't know if you can find it on here, John, of um, immigrant numbers per year. And they mention here, if you just look at them, 2017, it's 1.1 million. 2019, it's down to 1 million. So it's like, okay, we have a small drop there. 2020, of course, goes down to 700,000. So it's that graph, but you have to go to the right, John, uh, in which, yeah, okay, you could say 2020. I mean, that's definitely COVID-19 having its uh, impacts. Well, sorry, it's the lockdowns mm -hmm. having their impact, which is it goes down to 700,000. You know, he gets in at 2016, 1.2 million, and then it goes down to 1 million by the time of 2019. So yeah, he is actually doing his job there. And that's on legal immigration, of course, which is a bigger mix in the United States of legal and illegal because of their border. Whereas for mm. us, it's not a problem when we talk about illegals. But it is for the Americans. And we'll go to the data on that too, I suppose. This is a graph I keep showing, the Southwest land border encounters. If you scroll down, we can see the last two years of Donald Trump and the first two years of Joe Biden. Can you guess which is which? Hmm. Yeah. Is it, the one that immigration goes up uh, Joe Biden's bunny chance? Yeah, both of those. How, how did <laughs> I guess? It's amazing. The blue one being the first year in which it skyrockets, and then the, the orange one being the continuation of the skyrocketing. So for Donald Trump, his last two years, 730,000 illegals. It's not a small number, don't get me no, wrong. No, it's not. And he uh, did try. First two years of Joe Biden, 2.6 million. That's ridiculous. That's, that's such a significant increase as well. Obviously, they had the, the, the case of um, Biden getting into office and just say, just let them come. Yeah. And then 
It more Funnily than, enough, they did. It, and it, it more than tripled. Mm -hmm. In two years, you tripled the amount of illegal aliens. Good um, job. At one point, there was something like 15,000 Haitians at <laughs> the southern border just sheltering under a bridge. Presumably swam there. <laughs> All the way to, from Haiti. It would go to the Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't drop off in Jamaica. They didn't, they didn't think, ah, oh, Cuba, that's socialist paradise. Let's go there. Uh, they got to Mexico and went, this isn't good enough for you. Let's go to the United States. To be fair, if they swam all the way to America, they deserve a place on the American Olympic swimming team. <laughs> that's, that's technically true. <laughs> they actually <laughs> did. But they would have. If we get the next link here, we can also see the fact that these facts are facts. Okay? That they is just data. Care. And Good of evening, course, welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. They don't care. <laughs> the response from the New York Times et al. was to make the Tucker Carlson experience, as many will remember. <laughs> These facts are forbidden to be spoken, was the attempt. The attempt was to try and shut down Tucker Carlson because he spoke about this reality. I haven't seen this before, and this is like something that someone what? on YouTube would have made as an, an S post, but now it's the New York Times. Oh yeah, it is long as well. I don't know if you could just tap through, John, just to show Josh, because if you haven't seen this, Josh, you're, you've been missing out. Just, just keep tapping to show how long this is. But it's just them whining for ages about how Tucker Carlson keeps saying that we're importing loads of foreigners, and the purpose of that is to gain blue votes. And he keeps evidencing it from speeches from the American blue elites. <laughs> like, yeah, funny that. Goodness me. They spent a lot of time on this, didn't they? And <laughs> this is ridiculous. It, it goes on forever. That's why I call it the Tucker Carlson experience. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it's not the end, because, of course, they tried to shut down that conversation, but the reality is you can't shut that down because it's so bleeding evident. And, well, we have the news from Breitbart, who have just evidenced this to us. Here's the headline. The foreign-born voting population rises 75% in swing states since 2016. This is even with Trump's good work to try and put it down. In nine of the eleven, sorry, of the twelve swing states, for instance, the foreign-born voting population has risen over the last six years. Most predominantly in Florida, Michigan, Texas, Arizona, have seen the largest drops in foreign-born voters in that time. Foreign-born voters in Florida, for instance, now account for seventeen percent of the state's electorate. That's ridiculous, isn't it? They're trying to—they're trying that hard to get rid of DeSantis. That's foreign-born. That's not even before we even get to first generation. Eleven percent in Texas are foreign-born voters now. Arizona, it's the same, with the foreign-born population being 10.5%. In swing states where close races are expected to take place, the extent to which changing electorates can be achieved by each campaign may ultimately help determine who wins and loses come November, the American Immigration Council researchers suggest with the midterm elections. And if you scroll down on this, they just list every state, in case you're wondering where your state is. And uh, every single state, the foreign-born population would swing the entire state in all of them in 2016 and all but i think one in 2020 as well so there you have it that's uh, scary stuff the plot as laid out is reality which is the foreign-born populations can decide who is the american president of course we can't say anything about the uh the motivation for doing this and um its relation to certain years and then say 2024 um I can't say anything about that. But we just have statements from the Blues who will tell us why they did it, but that's that's for them. Thankfully, there is some saving grace in all of this, um, which is that the plot was made by leftists, so it's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't take into account reality. And we have an example here, in case you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about. This is an AFD poster from Germany, campaigning to get Turks to vote AFD, with the poster <laughs> showing their candidate and Ataturk behind him, with a message saying that, well, Ataturk would have voted AFD. <laughs> They're not wrong. Either. <laughs> so it's just like, you know, come and support us. And, um, well, it kind of worked as well. You can see that that was a European subreddit mocking this. But we have an article here called, But You Don't Look Turkish, The Changing Face of Turkish Immigration to Germany. It's like, yeah, strange that. And it's uh, also the general change of immigration to Germany. I couldn't find the, the source for what I'm about to quote, because I remember we did cover it. I think you and me might have gone through it together. But it was a quote from the fact that loads of Turks have recently shifted their votes to the AFD. Kind of because of <laughs> Ataturk would have voted AFD, bro. It's and a good policy because the Turks love Ataturk, don't they? It's very yeah. rare to come across one that doesn't like him. Well, rightfully. And uh, one of the reasons that is, is because, well, Ataturk, great reformer of Turkey into a modern secular state in his image, and the mass importation of Arabs. Yeah, funnily enough, the Turks and the Arabs don't get on when no it comes way. to their, I never would have guessed. their view of Islam <laughs> and everything else <laughs> in the world. 
So a lot of Turks are like, hmm, yeah, maybe we should close the borders before we go get the Islamists turning up, because kind of don't want to go on Al Jihad every day. Mm -hmm. I just kind of just want to eat my donna. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, AFD support going up amongst the Turks. So that's one way that this is being stunted throughout the Western world. And also in the United States, just as a point, we can also just look at the Cubans. Why not? Overwhelmingly supporting Trump. So there is that saving grace for some time period, which is the foreign born population aren't actually owned by the Dems. They're not actually on the plantation. They uh, can be won. Yeah. And uh, if you can convince them, then, well, you completely scupper the plot to slay the least. I imagine people fleeing Venezuela won't take much convincing, to be fair. No, you would hope so. But I'm sure there'll be occasional commie in there that needs to be <laughs> taught. Why are you here? Ah, oh, because I want freedom. Hmm, yeah, why are you not in Venezuela? Oh, because uh, no freedom. Yeah, why is that? Hmm. American imperialism. No, no, no. Try again. Try again. <laughs> Communism. Anyway. <laughs> but that's that. That's the immigration plot and uh, hopefully why it'll fail. If you appreciated that segment from the podcast of the Lotus Eaters, you can go to lotuseaters.com to get access to all the premium content we have on the site, such as the Epoch series, this one on William the Conqueror, part two, the Battle of Hastings. If you want to find out what else we're putting out, you can follow us on Getter at lotuseaters underscore com on Getter. Thank you and goodbye.